I'll take it. Hello, welcome back to another outdoor adventure somewhere in Wisconsin. We have kind of a rush job today. We have a little over an hour until shooting time ends and I'm gonna rush out here. The geese are not flying yet. I'm hunting the spot today because a lot of the little local little ponds and stuff, neighborhood ponds, they're all froze. And this property is right along Lake Michigan. So I'm hoping a lot of these geese that have been roosting around the area have moved over to Lake Michigan and are roosting out there. I'm hoping to catch them uh, on their feed, maybe traffic some, maybe there's more ducks around because uh, those they're being forced to kind of to sit out on the bigger water. So I'm hopeful to catch a few of these off guard. My goal today is to get my blind set up, get my decoys out in like 10 minutes. I can drive back in the field and then hopefully knock down a few ducks and a few geese tonight. Solo mission, hopefully it's a good one. Uh, I'm gonna put this away, this camera away until I get set up. Then I'll have the head cam on. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like our stuff, don't forget to like it right down below. You guys crushed the last video with all those likes you gave me, so I really do appreciate it. It helps the video grow, helps the channel grow. So uh, keep it up, give me a like right down below. If you like our content, don't forget to watch some of our other stuff, share with your friends, share with your buddies. Until I see you in the blind in a few minutes, uh, hopefully uh, I get set up and maybe traffic a few birds today. Even if I shoot one, I will be happy. Heck, even if I see some birds, I'll be happy. Uh, I haven't seen any birds flying yet tonight, so it actually is gonna work out pretty good. I'm driving in. All right now, I'll flip you around and show it. All right, we're good to go. Driving in, literally have about an hour until shooting time ends here today, so I'm glad it's as solid as it is. Got a southwest wind, so I'll be shooting uh, kind of out into this big field here. I'm gonna try to get out into the sun a little bit Oh, there's a bunch of doves. I'm in a bit of a hurry, but I also don't want to mess up my truck. Bouncing in, woohoo! It's like I said, it's gonna be a rush job. Hopefully, I uh, get set up here fast enough and before these birds start flying. That's the goal. Get set up and in the blind. I actually set up. <laughs> I actually set up my blind at home, so my my layout blind just to save 10 minutes or whatever it takes, five minutes. Um, it's set up in the back of my truck and brought the dive bombs out today because it was a quick setup I'm not sure if I'm gonna set out five dozen or ten dozen yet. I think it just depends on if I start seeing birds flying or not But uh, I'm hopeful we can knock down a few birds today and at least see some flying so Well, uh, we'll see you guys in a few minutes. It's plenty dry to drive across the field here and uh, Yeah, let's let's hope it uh, pays off today Better load up one thing I'm a little worried about right now. Little worried about these shadows, but pretty much the whole field shadow, so I don't think it'll matter too much. Put out about eight dozen dive bombs. I'm guessing eight. I put out one bag, and I just grabbed a stack of some more out of my second bag, and then I put out my two lucky ducks on remotes. I haven't seen a goose flying yet, so I just they're gonna be late. It's pretty sunny out, so my guess is they're gonna fly a little late. Last last night they started flying right about now. Hopefully the ducks come in before shooting time if they decide to fly but it's always uh it's always like a last 15 10 minute thing as you guys know with with ducks and fields unless it's snowing or raining or super cloudy out and kind of dreary out they could sit there all day but i figured i'd try a little solo mission tonight my dad's going out to the river he's hunting in the morning so closing weekend here in wisconsin is fast approaching Fifteen minutes left. No, we have twenty-five minutes left for shooting time here yet. 
So have not seen a bird yet. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, but yeah, I don't know. It could be a last uh, 10 minute kind of flight today, period. I haven't seen a duck, haven't seen a goose. I haven't even heard a goose. Here we go, boys. Got one down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One duck down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One Mally, baby. Yes, sir. They did it perfect. Perfect. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. I'm gonna go grab it. Guys, you better give me a like for that. Freaking run out here after work, set up as fast as I can. But I don't care. Yes, sir. I did pick out a Drake. Fold him on the first shot. Yeah. Yes. Look at that big old fat neck mallard. Let's get some more. There's got to be more around. If there's one, there's more. All right. Oh, yeah. I'm not even sure where they came from. All of a sudden I just, I was kneeling and they were flying over. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'll take it. Holy cow. They came in perfect. <clears throat> oh, that makes me happy. All right, first one down. What a nice knock two down there. Had a chance at a little last second limit. I have 15 minutes yet. That's A okay with me. Just need a couple more to play. Holy cow, I'm jacked up. That got the adrenaline going. I don't know why, it just did. Solo duck on here. Came out for like the last 45 minutes of the day, threw down some dive bombs, and freaking knocked on a mallard. I'm pretty excited. I could have had two, but they kind of peeled out of here fast. My goal today was to come up, set up quick, set up quick, and knock down a mallard, and I did it. Anything after this is just a bonus. Would have loved to go home with two, but I should have shot better. I would have had two if I would have shot a little bit better. Solo hunting is kind of fun. I don't get to do it that often, but I do enjoy it. Um, usually I hunt with my pops. He's retired and he can hunt whenever I can hunt. All right, guys, that's a wrap. There it is. The COVID Mallard. I'm calling this thing. I'm calling, oh, geez Louise, it's a good looking bird. I'm calling this guy the COVID mallard. <clears throat> Here's why. Thanks to COVID, I can actually get out here for a very short afternoon sit. <clears throat> and uh, I, I have the opportunity right now to work from home. And if I wasn't working from home, never have a chance 
at this bird because I work about 35 minutes from uh, I work about 35 minutes from home so if it wasn't for COVID I would not have had the opportunity this big old juicy northern mallard here um, not a lot of birds around today I only saw the eight birds but one was very kind and it came in and uh, I hit it knocked it down killed it I wish that uh, I would have put a better shot on that second one, maybe taking a little bit more time with my second shot on that bird. But uh, I'm pretty happy with it, guys. Thanks for watching this quick hunt, guys. I do appreciate it. Uh, early December in Wisconsin, late season mallard in a cut cornfield. And uh, couldn't, couldn't be any happier, to be quite honest. Got out here, got after it. Not many guys would come out, rush out here, throw down their, throw down their, uh, I got, five dozen maybe about seven or eight dozen dive bombs out two spinners two lucky ducks and i was lucky enough to uh knock down a mallard tonight super happy with today's hunt guys again if you like our stuff please like this video um youtube's not been promoting my stuff as much as normal and uh it's hurting the views and people who are able to see it uh, i feel like this content i'm putting out right now is better than the stuff i used to put out and uh Maybe people are just over it. I don't know, but it's just not quite getting the promotion that uh, I feel that it should. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Chase. We're always somewhere in Wisconsin. We'll see you later.